Hey guys, welcome to Milson Ranch. In a previous video, I took this shotgun and I put the end four inches of the barrel underwater and I fired a shell through it just to see if I could banana out that barrel and it did. It, it blew out the end a little bit and then I shoved it further underwater and I shot another round through it and it just broke off the end of the barrel. So it's kind of demonstrating um, to not plug your barrel basically. And I uh, thought that it was under 18 inches so I couldn't fire it anymore, but I went home and measured it and it's actually a little over 18 inches so I can fire this one more time, most likely. And um, what I'm going to do is put a three and a half inch magnum shell in here this time and I'm going to put this barrel as far under water as I can um, without getting that shell wet and I'm going to fire it and see what happens. Alright, this is a three and a half inch magnum buckshot shell going in the chamber and you can see the barrel is under completely except for about three to four inches right here. Three and a half inch magnum shell going in. Loaded, safety off, here we go. No change. It did fire everything out of there, but it looks exactly like it did before. So that did absolutely nothing to that barrel. And thinking back to the other video, what I what I noticed when watching it was that the barrel ballooned or kind of bananaed out at exactly the level that the water was at. So if so, when the water was in the barrel at about four inches from the end of the barrel, the barrel ballooned right there at four inches. And when it was about 14 inches, it ballooned right there at 14 inches. I think the reason it exploded at that spot was because it had the entire barrel to pick up speed. So for example, um, on the shot where it was only four inches underwater, these pellets fly out of the shotgun shell and they have the entire barrel with combustion happening behind it to continue to pick up speed until they hit that water at the very end. And then it hits the water with such speed that there's no way for the, there's no place for the water to go except out. So it explodes out with all that pressure from the water and the pellets hitting each other. And that's what's blowing up a barrel. And on that last one, um, what happened is the water was basically right here. So as soon as this fired, they didn't have but an inch to pick up speed. So they weren't going nearly as fast as the ones that had a couple feet to pick up speed. So they basically just hit that water going slower and then the combustion kept happening and just pushed all the water out of the end of that barrel. So what I'm going to try now is having the shotgun um, barrel about 10 inches out of the water. So they'll have 10 inches of room to pick up speed before they hit that water. And we'll see if that affects it. knocked around a little bit there GoPro. Alright guys this is pretty interesting I think. Um, this one definitely blew it apart. It blew the handguard off and I have no idea where that handguard went. The water's all muddy down here so I can't see and I don't know if it went you know off in the distance 20 yards or something. I was hiding behind a tree so I didn't even see it but uh, basically it blew the handguard off. It blew a piece of the barrel. There was there was more barrel up here and I don't know where it went either um, and this thing is bent. This, this magazine tube is bent down now, so it had a lot of pressure going straight down. But overall, pretty cool experiment. I didn't, I didn't really know if this was going to work or not. And uh, on that first shot, I was really surprised it didn't blow up the barrel. And I'm really surprised now that with less water in the tube, using the same shell, it'll blow it up. But it wouldn't when it was right here. So I think my theory on why that was happening is probably correct. And uh, overall, pretty cool experiment. This gun is pretty much toast. Before, just the barrels messed up, but now magazine tubes all canted down. Um, I have no clue where the foregrip is, and I have a feeling that the threads for this magazine tube might be marred up a little bit now. Um, the receiver probably is, is good besides those threads, though, so it may be salvageable. Probably not. I hope you guys don't hate on me too much for destroying a shotgun. I want to remind you that this was a pawn shop gun. I walked into a pawn shop. And it wasn't a nice pawn shop, and I found the cheapest shotgun that they had, and I talked them down even lower. So I have hardly any money invested in this shotgun, so don't hate on me too bad. Um, I just wanted to show y'all 
um, and show myself what would happen in this in this experiment. Found a piece of the hand guards. Um, this is just half of them. I don't know where the other half is, and I still can't find any of that barrel. I have no clue where where those went. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Indo Apparel for sending me this T-shirt. Um, uh, I really like it. And if you gun guys think you know what it is, comment below. And I also want to give a shout out to Auto and his channel. I'm going to put a link to it right here because I can't ever pronounce it. But um, Auto made me the intro um, in this video and the one that I'll be using. Uh, in future videos and man he's got some animation skills he made all that from scratch and uh, really really impressed me and he's a really nice guy so if anyone's looking for an intro to your YouTube videos give him a shout over at his channel thanks for watching Demolition Ranch and I'll see you next time